I am making this video for those of you who have never used a fractional int scale <clears throat> to try to explain how to answer the questions on the um, worksheet that involves measuring with that scale. In the first place, part of the scale shown on the worksheet, which I'm showing you right here, that part of the scale <clears throat> cuts off the left and it cuts off the right. Now it's looks like this as an actual scale although the one I have actually goes in two directions this is a triangular scale and so the inch scale measures in a unit that we identify in the United States as one inch and the divisions are what causes the problem unlike the metric system where the divisions of major units are in tens hundreds and thousands in other words the metric system is all based on decimal units in the United States, we based <clears throat> our units and, and the increments making them up on fractions of a whole. So if we take a look at this scale, the number 16 at the end means that it's the same scale as the upper one that you're looking at on this sheet. I'm going to put this aside, although I will point out that fractional in scales are always read from left to right. I've never seen one that also reads from right to left. So unlike the other scales on this worksheet that are decimal inch and metric, they do not go from one end or the other. Also, unlike architectural scales, and that's what we have here, as architectural scale, three quarters of an inch equals one foot. At the other end, it's a different scale, and it starts with three eighths of an inch equals one foot and the scales will measure from right to left or from left to right. So we're using a scale that only measures in one direction. <clears throat> the way that our system works is this. The increment is one inch from here to here. That one inch is really based on the length of someone's finger many years ago, or at least the joint on someone's finger. And if you do this, you can see that, well, this is an enlarged version of the scale. If you looked at an actual scale, here's one right here, then the length of my first joint on my finger is approximately one inch. In other words, it's not based on anything other than a particular person at some point in the distant past. So we start by saying our measurement unit is this distance from here to here. <clears throat> Three and four mean that the distance from here to here is one full inch. Starting on the left at zero, have one inch, two inches, three inches, four inches, etc. Now the increments, instead of being tenths, which is what the decimal inch, or fiftieths actually, which is that, you know, really it's twice as big as hundreds, but it's still decimal. Instead, we say the distance from here to here, that's one increment. Let's just cut it in half. When we cut it in half, we would write that as a fraction one over two. If you were to divide one by two, you could convert that fraction into a decimal. So if I divide one by two, I'm gonna get 0 0.5. 0 0.5 is 0.5 inches, half an inch. Each of these is then divided up into halves as well. So halfway between here and here is one quarter of an inch. Why? Because one half times one half inch so I'm gonna go half and one half of a half an inch when you multiply fractions you multiply the two top numbers you get a one two bottom numbers you get a four which is why every time you cut something in half on the inch scale the number in the bottom of the fraction doubles so this little number right there is one eighth why because one half of one quarter equals two times four eight one times one, one. It also means that there are eight of those increments in every inch. So if you went from here to here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That also means that right in the middle, you could write that dimension or that value as four eighths. But we don't do that because four eighths can be reduced. Why? Well, that's halfway in between. Four eighths is the same as half. Because if you were to divide 4 by 2 and 8 by 2, you would get 2 fourths. You can still divide 2 by 2 and get 1, 4 by 2 and get half. Every one of those fractions is the same value 
but this is the way we would write it because it's been reduced to its lowest common denominator. Let's see if I can get that to shift a little bit. So that's where the values come from. So this top scale actually measures in sixteenths of an inch. Come right over here. So there are sixteen divisions. The bottom scale that you're looking at measures in thirty seconds of an inch, so there are thirty-two. So if you were to count these values, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, halfway over is eight sixteenths. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen of those makes up the whole. Down here you have thirty-two increments. So this top scale can measure half, quarter, an eighth, or a sixteenth. Down here there are twice as many, so every one of those little ones is one thirty-second of an inch. So when you're measuring, every value you get from this has to have a number in the bottom that is a 2, a 4, an 8, a 16, a 32, 64, 128. In other words, they all double as they get bigger. Now I'm going to move this over here a little bit. So now, to read one of these scales, if we go to the number 21 here, 21 represents first 2 inches. So we could put a 2 here, because it goes from the zero on the left. If we're measuring something starting at that zero point, it goes to the two. Now, what's in between? One over sixteen, that's a sixteenth. One eighth, that's two sixteenths. So the answer to this would be two and one eighth. And that's the answer you would put. Now, the, <clears throat> the problem with this is somebody had identified this as two and a half. Now, this was done by somebody who did not grow up with the fractional inch system. And this is a very confusing system for anyone who's never used it before. Two and a half would actually be all the way out here. So that 21 would have to be lined up right here to be two and a half. And clearly it isn't. Now 22 also goes out past two inches, but doesn't come to three inches. So that one's going to be also two inches, but the fraction of this course is going to be larger. It's going to be larger than a half, so it won't be two and a half. You go past two and a half, one little mark, well, that's a sixteenth. Well, one mark past one half, since one half has got to be eight sixteenths, that would be nine sixteenths. This would be ten sixteenths, and it looks like that's right in halfway in between it, so that would be half of a sixteenth. Half of a sixteenth is a thirty second. You line up down here, if you take and just go straight down, it's that little line right there, which is one, two, three thirty seconds past a half inch. Well, since a half inch is the same as sixteen thirty seconds, if you go three little marks past, you get right here nineteen thirty seconds. So what would the answer to this be? Two and nineteen thirty seconds of an inch. Now, if we come all the way over here to 25, 25 is going to be 4 inches because it's going left to right. It almost goes to 5, but not quite. It's between two lines, but it's closer to one than the other, so we're going to use that line right there. Well, there are 16 of these short divisions inside one inch. We're almost all the way out to the full inch, which means this would be 16 sixteenths. That would be 15 sixteenths. You can also count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So the answer to this would be 4 and 15 sixteenths. Coming down below, everything being measured in 30 seconds. So we'll come down and look at this one, number 29. Now again, 20, actually let's do... 27. 27, the person who did this, had 2 and then an 18. Well, let's take a look at what's going on in 27. If we were to count all these little marks from here, these are all 30 seconds of an inch. So that's 1 30 second, 2 30 seconds, or a 16th, 3 30 seconds, 4 30 seconds, or an 8th, 5 30 seconds, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 
16, 17, 18. But it isn't just 18, it's 18 30 seconds. So this one would be 2. And then you could write this as 18 30 seconds. But because the top number is even, you divide both by 2. 8 by 2, 18 by 2 is 9, 32 by 2 is 16. So the answer to this one is 9 sixteenths of an inch. We'll do one more of these. Number 30. Clearly, it's past 4, so there's going to be a 4 inches here. Now, I could count all these from the left, but given that I know that each one of them is a 32nd of an inch, I can see that I'm almost at the end here. I'm almost a full inch. That would be 32 30 seconds. That would be 31 30 29. So 29 30 seconds is the measurement we're looking at right there. Now, if anybody who has not used this system before, if this is still confusing to you, let me know and we'll get together sometime, either on Zoom or in a classroom, and I'll get out of scale and we can practice measuring with this. But that's the theory here. We simply came up early on with a different way of dividing up our standard increment. And instead of using decimal divisions, which would have been logical, and which were proposed by Thomas Jefferson, one of the founding founders of the, uh, of the U.S. Republic, of the American Republic, um, if, instead of doing that, we use the system that came over from England. The system that came over from England started with arbitrary units, inches in arbitrary unit, and then the divisions were all, let's cut it in half, let's cut it in half, let's cut it in half. 